Hey, what's happening, get one, Sir James, coming at you guys with another video. In today's video, I'm here to give you guys my unboxing of the Xbox One X Project Scorpio Edition. Now, I never said I was getting the Project Scorpio Edition, but my local GameStop actually did have extras in stock, which I was actually pretty surprised about. Now, if you guys don't know already, there's two different versions. There is the Project Scorpio Edition that I have here, and there's also the regular edition. Now, there's really not too much of a big difference between the two. It's just minor little things here. And it's basically similar to when Microsoft first came out with the Xbox One, where they had what was called the Day One Edition. And as you guys know, when this was in development, it was known as Project Scorpio, and thus we have the Project Scorpio Edition. So here is the box right here. Now you may notice the X design on it. If that rings a bell, then you should probably be thinking of, that is right, the original Xbox, where you got that nice X on the very front. Unfortunately, they didn't do the design on the actual console itself. It's just for the box right here. But like I said, there is what the package will look like. So if you could find this in store for those who are interested, you should definitely pick this one up before this is gone forever, because once it's gone, it's gonna be gone. And of course, you can bet there's gonna be a lot of people putting these up for high prices on eBay right now. So let's go ahead and get into the box because obviously I want to hook this up and start playing. So first things first is that we have a little uh, booklet here. There you guys go, looks pretty neat. So let's see what's in here. All right, so the first thing is talking about the Xbox Game Pass here. There's actually a code here for a trial, which I haven't tried it out before, so I'm gonna check that out. There's also advertisements for the Xbox Design Lab, so if you ever wanna design your own controller. Uh, the booklet for the instructions is actually very simplistic. And of course, there's also more steps on the back here for pairing your controller if you've never done this before. And you also get some Xbox Live Gold here. Do you have to scratch this off? I will actually give you guys a closer look. So if you wanna claim this Xbox Live Gold trial, you are more than welcome because I have like three years worth. So uh, there you guys go. And I think that's it for this. So let's go ahead and put this off to the side. Let's see, before we get to the console, we have this smaller box here, which should contain our cables and everything. So first off, we have our HDMI cable. Now keep in mind that this is not a regular HDMI cable. If you do pick up the Xbox One X, you actually get an HDMI 2.0 cable. So for those of you with a 4K display, you'll be able to take full advantage of the Xbox One X out of the box. However, if you're still rocking a 1080p display, keep in mind that you still benefit from that because the textures and stuff like that will look a lot smoother and more detailed regardless. Of course, we got our nice power supply here, because as you guys know, when Microsoft came out with the Xbox One S models, they done away with the bricks finally, and we got something more simplistic, and I'm glad to have this. Uh, we also get a little booklet here, which is like basically the product and registry guide. And of course, we got our controller here. Now, there's really not any difference between the controller, so if you're familiar with the Xbox controller, it's technically the same. And there's actually batteries in the bottom, so that's always nice. However, because this is the Project Scorpio edition, it actually says right here, Project Scorpio, which I'll give you guys some close-up shots. And that's really about it for the difference here. The buttons are all blacked out, so it looks pretty slick and pretty neat. So again, like I said, very similar to the day one edition. Let's go ahead and get the excess box out of here. So like I said, in the small box, you have your controller that says Project Scorpio, or it'll be plain depending on which one you got. Packer batteries, HDMI 2.0 cable, power cable, and a little quick start guide. Which means all that's left should be the console itself. Actually, there is something right here. I have no, oh yeah, I almost forgot. If you do get the Project Scorpio edition, or if you manage to find one, with this edition only, you will actually get a stand included at no additional cost. And here is the stand right here. This one's a bit different, so if you already own a stand from the Xbox One S, it doesn't seem like that's going to work because this uh, is actually a bit different, so kind of keep that in mind. But if you do get an Xbox One X and it's not the Scorpio edition, yours would not include a stand. So again, 
keep that in mind when you're shopping around. So which means now all that's left is holy crap, this thing is heavy, is the console itself. And I've seen plenty of YouTubers unbox theirs and they talk about how heavy it is. And I'm just kept thinking to myself, it can't possibly be that heavy. And in fact, it's definitely a lot heavy. It's the heaviest Xbox console that I've held. Actually, no, wait, let me, uh, I don't know. I think the original Xbox is still the heaviest. So this is up there with the original model. Take these off to the side here. And I like these thick uh, foam pads here, you know, to ensure that your console is protected. So let's go ahead and get the uh, black tape off here. Now there's also a small difference too with the actual console itself because the console also has the Project Scorpio logo and they also did a little bit of a, a texture design uh, from what I've heard for the front here because I don't know what the original one looks like. I think it's more flat and this one actually has a pattern on it uh, which again I'm going to have to give you guys close up shots but here it is. This is the Xbox One X, which is actually just a little bit smaller compared to the Xbox One S. If you have the One S model, the ports in the back are actually identical. And the other thing they stated, which I can't recall. Oh yeah, there's actually a little indent right here for the HDMI out. So if you're trying to reach in the back there, plug in your HDMI cord, just reach it in the back here, feel around the top here. You're actually going to feel a little bit of a bump here. That's going to be the uh, port that you're actually going to install the cable. And then on the front here, next to this war uh, warning sticker, which I'm going to go ahead and remove carefully now. Over here, it actually says Project Scorpio uh, as well. But like I said, this thing definitely has some heftiness weight to it. And I know they also, because I don't know all the technical specs, so don't come to me for like all the technical input in terms of what they put in here. Um, but they definitely put uh, a special cooling in here because obviously the main difference here with the S model is that you don't have the big old grill up here with the big old fan exposed. Uh, so there's definitely a different cooling system in here which definitely needs it. And again, this is a one terabyte system. Now, if you are getting it for the 4K assets, keep in mind that some of the games are actually going to be pretty large. If you have the physical games, uh, there is going to be a pretty small or big update. I know games like Quantum Break, for example, is like 170 something gigabytes crazy uh gears of war i think it's just slightly over 100 forza and all that fun stuff um, but like i said if you're kind of curious is it worth picking up the xbox one x currently i do not know this is my first time that i'm going to be using it i'm going to put it through all its paces see what microsoft has planned and only then i could bring you guys my review but overall this is a really good first impressions and like i said i can't wait to see what this thing does but until then I'll see you guys on the next video, and you guys have a great one. And let me know down below if you're picking up the Xbox One X, or if you're going to wait to a later point in time when prices go down. Until then, see you guys later.